Hey, what's going on? I am Legend, the traveling musician and recording artist from YouTube, and I am here to ask you, do you know what open back headphones are and why they may be vital for you in your music production process? So I was recently sent a pair of open back headphones by Sennheiser from the company called Mass Drop who wanted me to do a brief overview of their product for a separate campaign. So I decided this would be a perfect time for me to do an unboxing and explain what the differences and benefits are of using open back headphones versus the traditional closed back headphones. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these out the box. These are the Sennheiser HD58X provided to me by Drop.com. And this has the open back design right here. This is basically where the sound escapes from the headphones, which is different from closed back headphones, which will have a different design right here. It'll basically be closed off and sound will be isolated within your eardrums. So that is basically the main difference of open back versus closed back. It's got a nice glossy finish with the Sennheiser logo here, the HD 58X on each ear. And it also comes with an adapter for quarter inch plugs. For the longest time, I was using closed back headphones for all of my music production, but it wasn't until I discovered open back headphones where I truly figured out their significance in my music making process and my whole workflow completely changed. So when I started using open back headphones in my creative process, I noticed that my sound and my mixes and my songs became a lot more free and opened. Because normally with closed back headphones, while you do get a more isolated sound, your sound also tends to suffer from a more closed off muffled sound because of that isolation. But with open back headphones, there is no barrier to keep the sound inside. So basically the sound that you're hearing is a lot more free flowing and open. In this case, the sound has more freedom to move around and it's not trapped within the confined space of the closed back. In turn, this allows you to hear your music exactly as it should be heard. It's more crisp, more concise, more open, and the sound stage, basically, which is like a way to imagine your music presented on a stage, is more like that of a symphony hall. You know, you have all these instruments placed on a huge stage. There's 30,000 seats out there. You know, your sound has room to move around. Versus with the closed back headphones, it's gonna sound a little bit more like a 300 seater venue with close walls and low ceilings. Basically, the sound has nowhere to go but it still might sound pretty good. Basically, the sound is going to have a lot more space to be able to move around, to breathe, to do what each individual part is going to do. So I kind of compare this to that of like, open back headphones are more like the free range chickens, you know, the ones that are cage free. It's gonna be better quality versus the closed back headphones are more like the ones that are stuck inside the cage that people don't really want you to eat. So it's because of this basically now that I use open back headphones to mix and master all of my records so that once the listener hears the music, it's basically exactly as I intended for them to hear it. So if you want to know more about open back headphones and why they can be beneficial to you in your music creation process, be sure to click through to drop.com where audio experts will explain in great detail exactly what these things can do and why you should be using them in your music production. That's all folks. Until next time, stay legendary. And they want to know, they want to know why I'm still, why I'm still